charges after being found passed out in vehicle listening to Sir Mix-a-Lot Greatest Hits. Sir Mix-a-Lot's Greatest Hits. I thought that's what she said, but... Dude, I mean, and listen, I don't don't get me wrong, okay? I'm I'm a connoisseur of some old school hip hop, but as far as I'm concerned, that's a one track album, right? I mean, Sir Mix a Lot's Greatest Hits is a one track album. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, okay, so he must have had that on on repeat. Um, okay, so we cleared that up. One one track Greatest Hits album. Um, I mean, I guess maybe he was. He was just getting loose because, I mean, Santa was up in Detroit, you know, handling his business with Mrs. Claus. I don't know if they were at the play his, play his ball or something up there. And the elf had the weekend off, so he was rolling around New Jersey. I mean, listen, man, that eggnog will creep up on you, JR. You could be careful. You're at the Christmas party, you know, elves and all. That that uh, that eggnog, it's a creeper, man. It'll creep up on you. Man, have you have you passed out in the front seat of your car listening to uh, this Sir Mix-a-Lot, you know? <laughs> I mean, I just, I don't know. <laughs> I've got this visual in my head. Of this little, uh... sir, 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 baby, got back to hell. He's open <laughs> booty. He has passed out. Like, really? Uh, his little elf costume. I wonder if he was like a like a little man, like a little person. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're the cop that rolls up on that, I mean, you, like, what do you say to yourself in your head? You got to be like, oh my, like, you got to snap some pictures of that, right? Yeah. I mean, you bust your phone out, snap a couple photos, put them up on your Instagram. You know, that's good times right there. And we have a most clueless airline passenger, John, deploys Chinese airplanes emergency slides so he can exit faster, arrested for early conduct by East China Airlines security. Yeah, man, you don't want to be getting arrested in China. I mean, that's just, that's not a good time right there. You, you want to, whatever you do, you don't want to end up in a Chinese prison. That's probably, you know, just a, a tip from the top. I've never been to one, but I have watched 24, and I did see Jack Bauer and what he looked like when he came out of a Chinese prison, JR. And it wasn't pretty. It was not, it was not pretty at all. So, um, you know, if you're in China, you're on an airplane waiting to uh, disembark the plane, uh, I would say just be patient. Wait your turn. Maybe play a little uh, Candy Crush Saga on your phone, you know, a little Angry Birds, a little Clash of Clans, you know, do something to pass the time. But whatever you do, don't pop the emergency hatch because they will throw you in the slammer. And we got a Florida man arrested after beating the brakes off his grandmother for taking his Christmas candy. <laughs> Christmas candy, Halloween candy, Easter candy, hands off, Granny. That's all I'm saying. You keep your hands off. I mean, come on. You know, Mom gave this candy to me. She did not give it to you. You did not ask if you could have it. I don't remember getting, a, a, you know, a formal letter of request for my candy. Just to keep your grubby hands off, Grandma. Or else I'll, you know, obviously in this guy's case, he, he, went, he went upside her head with the with the like king size butterfinger or something who knows who knows what implement he used jr exactly with a florida man you just don't know <laughs> no you have no idea hey, who knows man it could have been one of those big candy canes filled with hershey's kisses and he just went to town on her exactly and they have a west thompson man a reference for giving his voice the floppy toppy while stoned oh my oh oh JR, I mean, that's, oof, I mean, that's just, oh, I mean, well, at least it was his horse, right? <laughs> was it somebody else's? <laughs> I mean, if you get caught doing that to somebody else's horse, does it make it worse? I, I, I guess it does, but yeah. I don't know, what, I don't know what the rules are on that. Um, whew, I don't, <sighs> did it say anything about, like, th- was there any reason given other than he was stoned? He was, they say he was a stone. He said he he thought it was his ex-girlfriend, but he mistaked it. He, he, he made a mistake because he was so tough. <laughs> uh, he must have been really, really high because that's just... Um, I'm, 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 I mean, I'm pretty uh, sure uh, having an a instrument is not what your ex-girlfriend had. You no, know, she's more inside than outside if you get catch my drift, people. So, <laughs> I <laughs> I don't know though, dude. With this cat, who, who knows, man? I don't even want to speculate on what his ex-girlfriend might look like. I mean, if he's got, if he's got the horse in play, you know, she might not have been far off. Exactly. 
So, you know, I listen. There's very few times I'm speechless on the boss report, but this this is this is definitely one of them. And another, John, another bad son of shooting, John. Son of gets in a fight in Florida over Josh Hart and Mr. Claus, then he starts dumping on them fools. So what uh, what was the fight over again? It was another Mrs. Yeah, Claus. Ha, 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 and Mrs. Claus in Florida. Start, man, I mean, dumping. listen, people people need to people. I'm telling you, man. I told you before. People need to recognize Santa is up with the times. He does not play no mess when it comes to Mrs. Claus. Okay, you see Mrs. Claus out in the streets. You be polite. You open the door for her. You show her respect because if you don't. You might catch some. Who who knows what you're gonna catch, man? You catch some AK fire. You know who knows? We it, it could be anything. Santa doesn't mess around. So just you, you know, make note. Next year, Christmas time comes. You just when you see Mrs. Claus, you walk on the other side of the street. Better believe it. And the Florida man apprehended for multiple robberies. Tell police if he wouldn't been out stealing stuff if he had some crack. Well, and, and it's a good point, JR, honestly. It really is a good point. I mean, if they just had buckets of crack throughout the city that you could grab a handful of, then people wouldn't have to steal, you know, for the crack. You would just have it there, and that, it's it's a legitimate point, really, if you think about it. But, <laughs> but I mean, what? Uh, I mean, I don't know. Like, the cops have to hear, like, the most ridiculous takes of all time, you know? Like, I wouldn't steal stuff if I didn't. If I had the crack, I wouldn't steal. Well, yeah, obviously. <laughs> we know that. How about you just don't smoke the crack, man? How about that? And I know a Florida man arrested after a solid stranger with Christmas decorations saying, quote, I did it for no reason. I felt like it, so I did it. And so he, he got the heat. Rolling paper and all. He got the heat. <laughs> did, it, did it give a list of the Christmas decorations that were used in this assault? The rolling paper. Oh, like, uh, like, like, uh, oh, gift wrap paper, man. Damn, man, I mean, I guess you could do some damage with some of those things. I don't know if you you were out shopping much this holiday season, JR, but they sell some pretty big rolls of holiday wrapping paper, and if you got one of the big daddies, you you could do some damage. I could see you doing some damage, especially if you caught somebody right with it, man. I don't want to talk about one of these flimsy little rolls, you know, that, like, you could, yeah, so, I mean, I'm saying, like, Right, I mean, it could be some, it, it could be a beefy roll of, of gift wrap, and you could definitely do some damage with that, but I love the take, man. He's just straight up honest and says, you know what, I got no reason whatsoever for doing this. I felt like it, so I did it. Okay, hey, fair enough, man, fair enough. Exactly. And a wasted North Carolina Marine arrested after the mistaken library for nightclub, snatching in door, thinking he's been denied entry. <laughs> this guy, I wonder if he was out rolling with the elf in, in New Jersey. <laughs> it seems like it's kind of the same scenario. Exactly. Just, you just get crushed out of your mind, forget like what plane of the earth you're on, and when you come out of it, you're bashing in the library door thinking it's a nightclub. I mean, these are stories that you could tell your grand, your grandchildren, JR. You know, pop them up, pop them up on your knee and let little Jimmy and little Susie know what kind of hijinks Grandpa got into when he was a young man. Exactly. And we have a 18-year-old boy and 42-year-old wife arrested in Colorado for stealing neighbors Christmas decorations saying, quote, we ain't have none since today. Yeah, I mean, that's just like, you know, Christmas time. Maybe if you would have went over to the house and just said, hey, you know, you guys have a lot of beautiful decorations. We're on hard times. We don't have any decorations. We thought maybe we could borrow some this year to make our house a little more festive. They probably would have been like, help, yeah, sure. No problem. Pick out what you want. Take it over to your house. Just bring it back at the end of the season. Cool. Done. Instead, they got to go over there and steal them. And now they're in hot water because they stole some stuff on Christmas. I, who's the, I mean, I just, I don't know. Why, why are you stealing something on Christmas? Why are you stealing something on Christmas? You don't even need it. You don't need Christmas decorations. What do you need it for? They're all over the place. They're all over the place for you to enjoy. You don't even need any. Oh, man. And we have another one. On Christmas Eve, John, a Florida man and, and a woman arrested after shoplifting from Macy's and smearing their stanky chocolate rain on an employee's face and running out the store. Oh, oh no. Dude, that is, this was on Christmas Eve? Yes. 
Oh my god, dude. What are the worst scenarios you could ever have? Like, you're working retail on a Christmas Eve. You just want to go home and have your Christmas dinner with your family. And before you can get out the door, somebody takes you on a ride on the Hershey Highway. And you... I mean, dude, you got to disinfect your entire life after that happens to you. Like, what do you do? What do you do to wash that off? I mean, you're just... Every ugh, every time you, you think about that event in your life, you will instantly feel dirty and have to go take a shower. And you basically just ruin somebody's... Basically, you, you dude, if that happened to me, it would ruin my life, honestly. It would ruin my life. I'd have to go to counseling. Yeah, I would too. And you know, I know all too well about people crapping on themselves, and they'll ruin, they'll ruin me. <laughs> I, I know. I mean, my God, we had a whole uh, episode of the Boss Report. We had inside information about, you know, office um, office crappings and, you know, having, having accidents at work. And this person, they somebody else made them have an accident at work, I guess, basically, is, is the best way to put it. It's just a, it's a terrible scenario. Um, I, I wouldn't wish that upon my worst enemy, JR. And finally, John, a Florida team and a Santa hat and his homies are arrested for jacking multiple daycares, fire extinguishers, and Christmas trees for resale. The fire extinguishers? <laughs> is there like a is there a large black market for fire extinguishers out there? <laughs> like I don't. That's a new one on me. Like what? What is the What's the resale on a fire extinguisher? I like. like I don't. I don't get it. I mean, they have to be like recertified every year. So I, I don't. <laughs> all right. I mean, I'm gonna have to look into the the black market fire extinguisher circuit and see what's see what's shaking, Jr. Maybe we're missing out on some easy bucks here. I think we may be. Mm. Wow. Hey, folks. That's your boss report today, is right here on the chair of the boss show with John Bentley on the Boss Man Radio Network. And if you don't know, now you know, you know. I'd like to thank our guest today, Coach Ruffin McNeil, and also my man, KD Drummond, and Coach Paul Johnson of Georgia Tech. He's going to Ruffin McNeil and KD Drummond of Cowboys HQ. <laughs> the boss report. So I hope you all enjoyed today's show. Catch us again next week. Same bad time, same bad channel. Enjoy the boss show with John Beckler right here on the Boss Man Radio Network.